Hello, hello again, everybody. Zack Attack is here with the attack line for this. Excuse me, Thursday, March the 27th, 2014. And I, I did not make an attack line yesterday because I was in downtown Detroit at the Fillmore to see the Nash FM 93-1 uh, Country Free For All concert. I got my free ticket. I won a ticket. From the radio station, it was a free concert. You can only win the tickets. So I won tickets from Nash FM 931. Used to be 931 Doug FM. Now it's a new format, country radio station. Competing against WICD. And WICD has the 10 man jam. You gotta win your way in. This was Nash FM's answer to the 10 man jam. More like a seven person jam at the Fillmore, the old state theater in downtown Detroit, kind of by the Fox Theater. And it was an interesting night last night. You had a lot of people. On the stage, like I said, you have seven acts. Kicks Brooks, formerly Brooks and Don, he was the host, and he was the first guy out. Some some, Dick, some, some Brooks and Don songs, like Red Dude World, and then he had a couple new young guns in the country, like the Cadillac 3, who I never heard of until last night, and they were pretty good. They have a song called The South. And they had, like, they're like the Rocky, they kind of remind me of like, Jason L. Dean, uh, Brantley Gilbert, Eric Church, those country rockers. This was reminded me of him. It was intimate show, too. It was all acoustic. So it was laid back vibe, intimate vibe. You know, not a lot. Like, intimate instruments, intimate staging, which I thought was a cool element. They had Brad Eldridge, known for his hit song, Don't Ya, which got a lot of people going besides his new single, Be in the Music. And then you had another new guy, Eric Paisley, doing Friday Night. And all the songs. And then you had Terry Clark, you know, veteran. Who's hosting the Nash FM Morning Show? That's why she was there singing her Purple Pit for Me. I forgot she did that one, knew that when I was a kid. I mean, I was like, Does she, does she does Purple Pit for Me? I kind of forgot she did that one. Nice to hear that one. Along with uh, Scotty McCreary was there, made all the girls swoon. The full American Idol winner did pretty good. I was kind of surprised by him the most. He did a good George Fink cover, and I liked him. You know, I, I'm an AI, I was an AI guy, so I was kind of more impressed by him to see how he's kind of grown since. When I watched them on AI. Headliners. Big and Witch was the best. They were the best. Like, people went nuts for them. Especially, I was with my dad. He took me. As a little, you know, thing. Because I got two tickets. And I'm like, when Save All Friday Cowboy comes out, this entire place is going to go off. And boy, it did. Because I'm a disc jockey. And when I play Save All Friday Cowboy in any of my gigs... Normally, when everyone's drunk, they ain't go fucking nuts. And that's what happened with this. On a Wednesday night, they went nuts to save a horse without a cowboy. And it was a free show. You know, people, like, people mostly care about, there was a lot of young people. So mostly they cared about, you know, Eric Paisley and all the one that wanted to do. It's like Brett Eldridge. But it was a good show. No one really stunk. The kids was drunk. But still, it was a fun night of country music. Last night, the Nash FM 931 events. So there you go. Speaking of concert, I'll get to a... Concert announcement in a moment. Before that, we are available number one to kick off today's entertainment news day with stills across the board. Still number one album for the seventh not consecutive week. Frozen, the top 200. Hot 200. Uh, yeah, I was with top 200. Biggest week of sales. 202,000 benefiting from the DVD and Blu ray release of the movie Frozen in home media. So it benefited. Also, speaking of song from a movie, still number one, fifth week in a row on a hot 100. Happy! For well, happy to be made number one. It's the fifth week. Now, we kick off with a concert announcement, like I mentioned. We kick off with a concert announcement from the mighty Mac. The Mac! Fleetwood Mac. Now, Fleetwood Mac's been touring for 16 years without Christine McVie. It was decided to be a recluse and to separate herself from the music industry and live in London and live a peaceful life. That was all good and handy until she came back to Fleetwood Mac for a one night only performance during their European tour in London. And now, and it's now official. Christine is back in the group full time. You've known that since January, but now it's semi official because more official because of the tour. They announced, and I like this show. The On With The Show Tour, kicking off this September, has been taught for the last few months about a Fleetwood Mac tour. 
with Christine, and now it's official. The tour will kick off in October, which will kick off in Minnesota. It's zigzag all across America. Going to be here in Michigan on October 22nd at the Palace of Auburn Hills, unlike their last tour where they're at Joe Louis Arena. Tickets are going on sale April 7th in most markets, including Detroit. And, uh, it took, like, no one thought Christine would ever come back. You know, Christine's been in recluse for years, and no one ever thought that Christine would come back. Even Stevie Nicks said that she she felt more of an apocalypse happening before Christine would come back, and now Christine's back. Mick kind of announced it because she appeared not only in the Freeman Mac show, but a Mick Fleetwood solo show in Maui, so that kind of sealed the deal there. So there you go. Freeman Mac, back on the road with the original five of the original 1975 and rumors lineup. With Christine back in the fold. Now, of course, the last tour was, of course, 1998. The dance tour back in 1997. Speaking of things that were most popular in 1997, Puff Daddy. And I am not one. And I am not mistaken. Yes, Puff Daddy is back. The man of many names. Bitch Daddy. P Daddy. Diddy. Sean Puffy, back to being Puffy, Puff Daddy's back in the saddle with the new album, MMM, announced we turn to Puff Daddy by releasing a preview of a new song from his um, MMM, so that's very interesting to see Puff Daddy back, you know, the Diddy's back to using Puff Daddy's name again, so it's kind of weird. There's like Prince going from symbol to Prince again. Now it's like Puff Daddy's Puff Daddy again. So there you go. The Puffster's back. Now, the biggest celebrity news in the week besides, you know, Diddy coming back to be Puff Daddy is the the conscious uncoupling, as they like to refer it. The, yeah, that was right. The conscious uncoupling, they call it, of uh, Chris Martin and Greta Paltrow, who decided to refer their Separation of that, instead of saying the obvious, the D-I-V or R-C-E. It was released, a statement, through uh, Greta Bartow's blog. That wasn't in a 15-second phone call or a text. But they made it on the blog of Greta, and she said that we have come to the conclusion that, we will, that while we love each other very much, we will remain separate. We will, however, remain a family. They actually went on a vacation with the family. They remain friends, and especially good parents for both their kids, the weirdly named Apple and Moses. And it's kind of sad, though. These guys have been around for, what, 11 years of marriage. So it's kind of intriguing to see these two, you know, unconsciously break up. You know, consciously break up. So there you go. Brandon Bartram and Chris Martin, whatever you want to call it, separate, divorce, Conscious uncoupling, what do you want to call it? They were broken up. Sadly. And we shall end with Lala Palooza news lineup. Lala Palooza in Chicago was announced this week, yesterday. Uh, the headliners were rumored last week, and the headliners that were rumored last week were true when it was official this week. Eminem, who's of course on the Monster Tour with Rihanna, I'm going to that show August 22nd in Detroit. I can go a headline alongside Outcast, continuing the 20th anniversary festival tour, along with Kings of Leon and Skrillex, Calvin Harris, lot, loads of names, Arctic Monkey, Lord Zed, Evan Brothers, Foster the People, Nas, Cruella, Children's Bambino, Gambino, Broken Bell, Spoon, Young the Giant, Kings the Elephant, Martin Garrix, the motherfucking animals, guy, uh, LFI, the Kooks, shitload of people on this. Line up a uh, lot of blues of cash cash, a lot of unique names there, and that's of course August 1st through the 3rd at Grand Park in Chicago. So there you go, a lot of blues uh, lineup announced. That is it for the tag line for today. See you all later with that in mind. You've been attacked by the news from Zach. Have a great weekend, everybody. I know it's Thursday, but hey, it feels like Friday to me. See you later, everybody. Yeah.